Peace and blessings, everyone. My name is John Edward. I'm the Imam of the Muslim Community Center of Charlotte, and I'm also cu currently serving as the president of Mecklenburg Metropolitan Interfaith Network, known as MECMIN. Today, we're basically coming together with Friendship Social Justice Team to encourage everybody to own their civic duty today. We believe in the power of the people. We're a country that prides itself of the role of the people in holding leaders accountable and encouraging candidates to support our best interests. So how are we gonna do that? The first thing we're going to do is register to vote. We can go to vote.gov and register. Once we've registered, now we have to study the candidates. Who are the people and what do they represent? Who is going to best represent what I hold dear to my heart and those people whom I love? If we're going to vote, I would personally encourage people to go ahead and take the advantage of the absentee ballot. Everyone has that right. You don't need special circumstances. You don't need an ID. Just simply contact the Board of Election to receive your absentee ballot. If you're gonna to go to the polls, I would encourage you to go on the early voting opportunities when there's very little people in the lines. Wear your mask and stay safe. Really right, right now, what we find ourselves in a very crucial time in American history and it's time for us to make sure that we find those candidates, and there are good candidates out there, who are going to do those audacious things that are best representing the people and bringing justice to our society. The first thing is to uproot systemic racism. We know that racism, this entire country has been uh, infiltrated by us since day one. It was founded on it. We have people who are ready to call these things out and bring about a good, honest, just, system of education, of criminal justice, of housing, of healthcare, and everything across the board. We need to uproot this uh, classism, this corporate interest and in the lobbying that we see where the interests of people's wealth and their stock and their corporate interests take value over the actual average person in our society. This is our time to hold our leaders accountable and address the needs of our society through voting. And this is the power that we have in our society. Last but not least, make sure that you go ahead and fill out the census. The census, it represents our existence. It is gonna give us our rights in terms of healthcare and housing and schools because it counts that we are here and we exist. So those things need to be um, funded for us. And so you can go to my2020census.gov and go ahead and fill out that census for this year so that we can make sure that every one of our vote counts and every one of our place in society counts. Thank you so much and have a blessed day. My name is Drayshawn McFadden and I'm a law student at the University of North Carolina School of Law. And if you're watching this video, then it's obvious that you care about voting, which is what I wanna to talk to you about today. It's clear when we look at this present administration that we can see what happens when many of us don't vote. But let's look at what happened when we do vote. We elected the first black president in the history of our country back in 08. We elected so many great local officials and statewide officials when we go out to the polls, people who care about social justice, people who care about the needs of our community. And so it's important that not only you go to the polls, but that you take someone else with you. And before you go vote, or even after you go vote, complete the 2020 census. This census is important because it helps bring resources to our communities. It doesn't take long. It should only take a few minutes. And once again, after you complete the census, make sure you tell someone else because it's important that we all get involved and get people engaged in the social justice and, and, and civic process should not be a secret. So thank you. And I look forward to seeing you at the polls.